going on YouTube? Hope you guys have had an amazing weekend. If you were gigging, if you were just jamming out, practicing, whatever the case may be, I hope you had a great weekend. So today's lesson, I want to kind of continue on this like jam session specials. Um, it's a song that a lot of us that have played at jam sessions or some of us that are just getting introduced into playing at jam sessions or just playing R&B or Neo Soul, whatever it is, for the first time. This is one of the staples. It's Jill Scott's The Way. I, I mean, so many times that when you're at a jam session, you're asked to play this song and it can be one of those songs you get so familiar with, you kind of just like take for granted. Or if you're just, like I said, getting introduced to it or whatever, you may not be familiar with the chords that are in this song. So we're going to go through it. It's a really cool song. Um, the guitar player, you know, like it's mainly keyboard heavy, but as a guitar player, you can really get off on this song and really do whatever is in the song. The chords are required in the song. So let's take a listen to the song. Let's break it down and let's get in. Let's have fun with the song. Here we go. Okay, so let's just work through that first part because again, there's just so many nuggets and nuances in that song that we just got to make sure we get that right. So this song is an F sharp major. So that walk down, we're going to start from that E flat and chromatic all the way down to that C and do a diminished chord. So from that E flat, we're going to chromatic all the way down to that C. Then we're going to go to... Um, a B major 7. And we're going to go to an E flat minor 7. Then we're going to end on an E major 7. So let's do that all over again. This is the first half of that song. So we're chromatic down from that F, I'm sorry, from that E flat, all the way down to that C, and we're gonna do a minor chord, I mean diminished chord. That B major seven. E flat, minor seven. First go to that, when the first verse starts, we're going to go to that E minor 7. And then what I like to do is I like the chromatic down. And then every now and then I'll go to a minor 7. you to focus on too when you're playing is like the the dynamics like using that palm muting it's it's in, in the song like you know what i mean you can play the chords while open. but just i encourage you as a guitar player like learn to play with the dynamics because sometimes when you're playing a jam session or whatever the single to everybody to break it down but how do you still like embody the essence of the song without losing that so like playing like palm muted so another thing that you want to think about too as a guitar player like having those different nuances around the chords like that embody the song
little small nuggets like that or whatever, what makes the song feel the way that it's supposed to feel. Like taking the attention to detail to do small little subtle stuff around the song will kind of help a song feel really good, okay? So let's get back. Um, let's start from the beginning and we're going to play through it and I'll tell you some of the stuff that we need to do, okay? First chords, like you know, that C, uh, E flat minor seven, chromatic down. When we get ready to stop and go to the next port, we're gonna go to it in F sharp major seven. We're gonna go to that um, that B flat minor minor eleven. We're gonna go back to the top of the song, chromatic down from that E flat. see me do a lot of a uh, percussive kind of stuff in between in the track you're gonna see me play like a lot of like nuance kind of feel good stuff so the song doesn't feel like it's stagnant because you can do that as a guitar player you can find various ways to play around the song and I'm not talking about you got to do all types of substitutes and throw out every lick that you know but just like the subtle parts <laughs> doing off of that is just this move is that E flat minor 7 of when I'm playing everything that I have to play is not wide open so just focus on that when you're playing this kind of song it's just using different techniques of palm muting that can change the feel of how the song is sounding so where you're not just so fixated on just playing <laughs> But sometimes you just want to change the dynamics of how it's feeling. Or if they break it down, you want to be able to still play with the very essence of the song without losing that consistency in it. All right, so let's just finish um, working through it a little bit more. Is it
So we get the gist of like what we can do in this song. So the biggest thing is like playing the chords, working on the dynamics, like the palm muting, the various movements around there. It's like, you know, the more comfortable you start to feel with the song, the more you can kind of expand and do all various types of things around it. But you just want to be careful not to be so busy that you take away from what the song is intended to do. You know, the what the singer is doing. You don't want to get in a competition where you're battling the singer. But you want to be musical enough to where like people can appreciate the song, the band can appreciate you playing. Or if you're just doing it in your own time, you want to be able to so you can play the song. If you had to play the song by yourself, always think about how musical you can be so that you embody the very essence of what the song is. So hopefully you've enjoyed this lesson. Like I said, I just want to give you some tidbits, and some nuggets to show you how to play the song, some things to think about that you can try to chew on, you can digest in order to make the song feel that much better. And you can know how to play it the way by Jill Scott.